This game looks great. I mean, it already starts off with the victory music, as if you won already or something. I love the, the outfits of the main protagonists, both male and female representation of the poofball hat, like they're going golfing or something. And uh, I, they're bringing back the sneak feature from Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I wonder if that it's going to be the a similar mechanic as Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, where you could catch uh, like high IV Pokemon and then go from there. Uh, just the overall details in the game look magnificent. Like the foggy forest was, uh, I think that's what did it for me, and also the city scene. Um, one thing I, um, I have a few questions about is what's the weird new building with the leaf on it? Like, is that, I have a feeling it's like the new symbol for like the professor's lab because, uh, uh, like gen five, we didn't have like a, an emblem for Pokemon gems. So maybe it's a new emblem for the, uh, the professor's lab. Uh, and also, you see the scene with the female protagonist in the in a lab-like area, and I'm assuming that's where you get the three starter Pokemon. So basically, the the breakdown of those three Pokemon, Score Bunny is like a combination between like a fighting type, uh, like a fighting type Bunnelby, Benary looking thing. It's like a bi bipedal looking thing you, you could tell it's going to be a fighting type because of all the bandages and that kind of disappoints me i mean it's a great typing don't get me wrong but uh um we have enough firefighting types it's it's okay you know like that's why i really love delphox because it had like a fire psychic thing going on but i i digress from that Sobble, that that was pretty cool. Like having its entrance come in, uh, kind of like uh, it was using like acid armor or something, or maybe it's a special ability where it has uh, some some type of chameleon type of ability. Score Bunny is definitely going to be a firefighting type once it evolves. Look at the bandages on its face and foot. It's uh, it's. It's going to be a thing, and it's probably going to be bipedal because there's no uh, uh, quadpedal fire starter for some reason. I don't know why. I, I, have a I have a few bunnies. This is why it, it means a lot to me that the bunny, they do the bunny right because I have two. I have two bunnies at home who I love very, very much. Um, I hope that it, it evolves into like a, a quadpedal bunny thing that happens to be a fighting type but i doubt it it's going to be on two legs that they're not going to change anything about it it's okay i'm okay with it but uh moving on to sobble um i like it it's like a chameleon type of water type that uses like acid armor kind of like vaporeon i kind of like that uh it, it's got a cute face and and mouth and fin thingy and like a uh yeah that's all i got to say about it you, you know we don't know anything about it or its special abilities it might just disappear in water as a special ability and doesn't even know acid armor but who knows i digress i digress this is only like beginning trailer stuff there might be more information about it i'm just going off the the trailer then moving on to Grookey, the uh, lemur-looking grass type that just looks like a better pan sage. That's all I see it as. Grookey is just a better pan sage. You know, Grookey is, uh, I think it's it, it's not a monkey. I think Grookey is just a lemur-looking thing with a twig in its head. And it's just like, hey man, what's up? I'm looking at the uh, the promo thing. It's really cute. I think I think that's that's going to be a number one for a lot of people. Like the grass types for the the past generation, you know, with Rowlet, everybody loved Rowlet, and uh, I think Grookey is going to be just like that. Uh, Score Bunny, I don't know. I think people are going to move away from fire types. I've been choosing the fire type ever, ever since I started playing Pokemon, so I'm just going to pick Score Bunny out of pure stubborn tradition. Even though I know it's going to be a firefighting, 
I still want it. It's a bunny. We don't have enough bunny Pokemon. Like, I, I've been an advocate for making an electric-type rabbit for the longest time. Uh, probably since 5th gen. I mean, I'm not, a, I'm not like a YouTube personality at all whatsoever. I'm just, this is just word of mouth with my friends that I've been an advocate for. But maybe I should start a whole campaign about making a le an electric type bunny Pokemon. Because that would be cute. Bunnies are fluffy. Yeah, it's something with static. I, I'm pretty sure that's why Pikachu has the static ability. Because it's just fluffy. I mean, have you seen the whole, like, uh, Detective Pikachu uh, uh, thingy with, with everybody? Every Pokemon is fluffy in that trailer. I mean, minus Mr. Mime or any of the uh, uh, dinosaur looking like Pokemons like uh, Charizard, Charizard, or uh, Greninja. But yeah, it uh, it's, looks like a good lineup. Uh, that's my rant about uh, the three starters. Um, what about the scene where there's a guy playing soccer? Is there going to be like a... Is there going to be soccer in this game? Or is it just going to be another like uh, super training mechanic? Because that... As you guys remember, that was like a, you know, that had a soccer ball in it. Maybe they're doing that. I don't know. Could be something like a Pokeathlon type of thing. Uh, another thing I noticed was uh, the crop circle scene that you only got like a second glimpse of. I'm pretty sure that's going to be like the uh, the cavern that you you go into where, where you first meet Stephen Stone and Oras. And it's like this cool looking um, ancient painting of whatevers. And and it probably has to do with the legendary Pokemon. Uh, but we won't know about that. And maybe the legendary Pokemon alludes to like aliens of some kind. And, and it has to do with the sword and the shield. Uh, if Aegislash isn't in this game, I'm going to throw a tantrum. A Tyrantrum. Uh, because it's sword and shield, as you guys know. As If you haven't found out already, it's, it's about a sword and a shield, which they have to... It's probably going to be like one of the champion's uh, main Pokemon, or even like one of the team leader's main Pokemon. It has to be an Aegislash. If not, you mi that's a missed opportunity, Game Freak. Okay? Okay? Um, but yeah, I, I just hope someday that Game Freak realizes that Typhlosion is the only straight fire type. It's the only pure fire type. I'm going to say this here. Typhlosion is my one of my favorite Pokemon because it's the fire starter that only is a fire type. That's amazing. You, you could always just not have it be fighting type and just have it be a fire type. I would love that. I would love that, but I digress, I digress. This isn't 20 years of playing the same game coming out uh, um, like a Freudian slip of angst, but it, it it looks like a good game. You know how it is. There, there are going to be hundreds of thousands of people complaining, this game sucks, this game is going to be awful, uh, I wish that they did this better, I wish that they did that better. But you know, we're all going to buy it, we're all going to play it, and it's going to be the same stuff, different day, and I'm perfectly fine with that. It's okay. Let Pokemon do whatever they want, and I will consume, and, and out of pure nostalgia blindness and repetition of the same game, and just be in a total cocoon of uh, just one franchise. I'm fine with that. I, you know, my fate is sealed, man. Like, uh, let's, let's just, uh, enjoy what we can. They, they decided stuff. I, I think a big problem with that, though, is, like, uh, there's, there's too much fan art. And I, don't get me wrong, I do love the creatives uh, who want to create their original Pokemon. But if Game Freak gets their idea from fans, then fans will keep making fan art and expect them to create their their whatever fan art they made or expect their pokemon to be seen in the next game and if they don't keep up with that 
then you know fans are going to be disappointed and then leave the franchise. So maybe reel it back with the fan art. Although I do love it, I appreciate the hell out of it. I love seeing. Um, I, I'm pretty sure that's why Mega Flygon wasn't a thing, even though I really wanted to see that. There's just so much good fan art on it that Game Freak was like, "How do we make it better? We're out of ideas because they keep taking them." But yeah, that's uh, those are my thoughts about that. This is just a full-on rant, I gotta say, like, talking about Pokemon. This is my uh, first video talking about things and my thoughts. I've been watching a lot of opinion videos about uh, this, that, and the other thing. And it's uh, it's time for me to throw my hat into the ring and see, kind of add my own two cents onto things. I hope you guys uh, enjoy what I have to say, I really, uh, this is like the fir a first for me. So yeah, just uh, let me know what you think about uh, about uh, my thoughts. You know, I'm probably going to make another video about each topic that I've discussed. But for now, this is just a, a rant. And uh, yeah, I hope you have a wonderful day.